Then moving right along to NYX, we all know how much I love the butter glosses, and these are not all of them. I think I have two or three in my purse downstairs that I forgot to grab. So these are all staying. I have such a love affair with these. They're so comfortable and so wonderful to wear all day long, and they give a really good amount of color to the lips. So I have Raspberry Tart, Eclair, uh, Peaches and Cream, Sugar Cookie, Angel Food Cake, I have Madeline downstairs, I have Red Velvet, Peach Cobbler, and Vanilla Cream Pie. Favorites of all time. Then I have two of the High Voltage lipsticks. I have the shade uh, Stone, which is just like a grayish brown. Sit there. I love it. It's a great color. Great everyday color. Then I have the shade Tangerine, and I am going to pass that on. I don't like the way it looks on me. I thought I would, but I don't, so that's going to leave. Um, Elf Lip Lock Pencil, great for, like, things that you feel feather on you. Oh, I have more NYX stuff sitting here in front of me. I have three of these Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have Istanbul, Transylvania, and Sao Paulo. These are great. These are like the OG liquid lipsticks. They're fabulous. These I am going to get rid of. I just cannot make these work for me. And as much as I like the original Butter Gloss formula, these are just too much. These are the intense Butter Glosses in the shade Chocolate Crepe and Toasted Marshmallow. This is Chocolate Crepe. Oh, I might keep. I just, oh. I just can't make these work the way I want them to, and it's so frustrating to me. They're too slippy and too slidey and far too pigmented. Those are both of them there. They're just far too pigmented, and they just run outside my lips and, like, up my face. So I'm going to part with those. They just, they just don't work for me. Then I have two YSL lipsticks and another NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. Just throw that in there. I have two YSL lipsticks. These are the Volupt Sheer Candy. I have the shade number one, which is a golden brown with gold glitter in it. And these come off incredibly sheer. They're just like a light wash of color. And then this is number four, and it gives you like that really nice, like you just ate a popsicle look to the lips. I love it. Clinique Chubby Sticks. I love these two colors. I have two-ton tomato and oversized orange. They're just my favorites. Then I have this Pillow Plump Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and & Glory, and this is in the shade Koi Toy. Toddy from Glam Life Guru made me buy this, and it stays in my purse. I don't think it's come out since I purchased it. I have a couple Buxom Lip Cur Polish Creams, whatever they are here. I have the one in Dolly, and then I have the one in White Russian. I'm going to pass on Dolly and just get rid of that, because I don't, I don't ever wear it, to be honest. Um, I have a NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Rakugan. I love this. Great, comfortable, very nice lipstick. And then I have a Rouge in Love lipstick from Lancome in the shade 181. Oh my god, the yard guys. This is a blue-based lipstick, red lipstick, and it just it looks beautiful on the lips. It's great. And it's in shade 181. And then lastly, for lip products, we're making some headway. This is the Revlon Revlon lip gloss in Orchid. I don't wear it anymore, so it's leaving. Now I'm going to move on to face products, and I'm going to start with primers, and we're going to work our way up. And the first one I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Pore Minimizing. This is my holy grail pore minimizer. I really only have problems with pores, like, right at the fronts of my cheeks, close to my nose, and then the bridge of my nose. And this, I think, works so much better than the original Benefit Poreshional, and it just it just meshes with my skin better I guess is what I'm trying to say there's nothing wrong with the professional it does its job but this messes messes meshes with my skin's chemistry much better 
So that is for sure staying. And since it's almost empty, I should probably go buy the full size. Then I have the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate. This is incredibly similar to Max Strobe Cream. I find this to be more of an illuminator type moisturizer. It gives the same effect as Strobe Cream, except it's much more pink where Strobe Cream just kind of really gives this illuminated glow to the face. This kind of gives a pink glow to the face, but you're putting foundation over top of it, so there's nothing wrong with it. I don't really feel like it does anything to prolong the wear of my makeup, but it does give a really nice illuminated look to my foundations. So I'm gonna keep that. Then I have the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Gel. And I purchased this because I wanted to try it because people were saying that it was really good at minimizing the appearance of pores and making them look smaller and less noticeable. But all I really find that this does is it stops my makeup from breaking up. Um, I tend to have a problem with my makeup breaking up around my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and kind of in the center of my eyebrows here. Even though I have dry skin, but when I am like out and about running around at work doing things, sometimes I notice that my makeup has just started to break up right here. And it's not that it's because it's oily there. I, I don't know what it is. My, I, I have a problem where makeup never wants to stay on my nose anyway, but this seems to prevent that or minimize it from happening. So I'm going to keep this because I really like that it does that. And then this is not necessarily technically a primer. This is probably more skincare, but I do use this to prime my skin as well. This is MAC's Lightful C Tinted Cream SPF 30 with Radiance Booster Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Basically what this is, is a tinted moisturizer with a ton of vitamin C in it. So over time and the time that you use it and continued use of it, it's going to lighten the appearance of dark circles. It's going to boost hydration in the skin. It's going to just make your skin look amazing, basically. I love this stuff. The Lightful C line, if you have never tried it, go get a sample of some of the stuff that interests you. I mean, seriously, the Lightful C line is kind of amazing, and it's not just because I work there. Like, even when I started working there, I was skeptical of the skincare line, to be completely honest. But then I made some samples, I tried it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I mean, literally, I'm not just saying that, and like, they don't pay me to say that. I really do love the Lightful C line. I use the serum all the time. It's in my bathroom right now. I love it. It's amazing. And I really think everybody should check out the Lightful C line, especially if you've got like dark spots or dry skin problems. Lightful C line is spectacular. Look at that. Then I do keep some strobe cream on hand at all times. I need to get some more. I just, I like it a lot, but you need hardly any. So I just put like a little bit where I want to be extra glowy most of the time. Then I have the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm Insensitive. I kid you not, this stuff is one of the best primers I have ever used in my entire life. I don't know what it is. I don't remember why. I don't remember what Nikki Tutorials said in her magic bumbo jum jumbo chant that got me to purchase this. But it's like $5 and it's fabulous and I love it. I use it all the time. Uh, what else? I've got this Urban Decay and Naked Skin Illuminating Beauty Balm, which is almost gone and just needs to leave. Anyway, if you remember back in the day when I first started doing my videos, I used to use that all the time. I mean, all the time. Then I have a sample of the Too Faced Hangover RX. This made me angry because I was like, ooh, moisturizing primer, really hydrating. I need that. So I put it like on the bridge of my nose, around my nose, around anywhere where my skin is generally extra dry. And um, all my makeup slid off of my face in those areas and I have just been using this as a moisturizer now in the morning instead of actually moisturizing and then trying to prime my face with this because it just don't work that way. 
Then I have the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is just the really little sample size that I think is still like $10. But it's leaving because I truthfully and honestly can say that I do not believe that that does anything at all to prolong the wear of my makeup. So then I have multiple things that I know that are leaving. Um, this Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Fair. I just don't want it anymore. I don't use it. It just sits in my little foundation concealer tub and I just don't want it. The same with this Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer. I just, I don't want it anymore. It's one of those things. I'm like, I can look at it and be like, no, I don't want that. Leave. And then I have two of these Maybelline fit me concealers these are fabulous concealers and I'm not getting rid of them because I think they're bad or I just don't use them I'm getting rid of them because they're old and I need to buy new ones then I'm getting rid of two things that I purchased from Circa Beauty I showed these in a video forever ago this is the color balance BB cream in light and then the magic hour illuminating concealer also in light this does absolutely nothing. This is the same exact color as my skin and does not give any coverage at all. So it's leaving. This was all right. I just don't reach for this. I'm gonna pass this on to somebody that will get some use out of it, like my little sister or my mother, and it's just leaving. Then I have the YSL Youth Liberator Serum Foundation, which is almost gone like I think I used it down to here but it expired a really long time ago and I'm just realizing that now sitting here looking at this so this needs to leave this is a very expensive foundation I think I paid $68 for this would I repurchase this in a heartbeat you betcha then I have three powder foundations actually but one of them is in my purse I have the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation which as we all know, has been on its last legs for forever, but I refuse to throw it away. I couldn't tell you why. But I am going to finally throw it away because I'm just going to buy a new one once this is gone. This is the IT Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation Illumination in Light. I like this, but not as much as I like the Cocoa Powder Foundation or MAC Studio Fix Powder foundation I prefer both of those I love both of those I will use this up but I will not repurchase this I can tell you that with a lot of certainty then I have two Mac foundations that I'm gonna keep I have the pro long wear nourishing waterproof and the mineralize when I want a really dewy glowy look I go with this mineralize foundation this is in the shade NC 15 by the way and if I really need my makeup to last from sun up to sun down and then some, I wear this one and this is in the shade NC20. I also have the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I am in the shade Light 2 or Mont Blanc. And then I have the Kat Von D Foundation in Light 44. And I'm really stoked for the new packaging of her products. I love the packaging now, but she's re-releasing the concealer, which I'm going to keep. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, it's that car. And I'm going to keep this, and when it comes out, I'm going to repurchase this. There's nothing wrong with this. It's still good. I just want the new packaging with the doe foot applicator, to be completely honest. Then I have several foundation samples here. I've got Studio Fix or not Studio Fix, Studio Sculpt in NC15 and NC20. I've got Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. I've got Face and Body in N2. I've got Matchmaster in 1.0, and then I've got Water Weight in NC20. I would definitely recommend Water Weight if you have dry skin, but I do not like the way it sits on my skin. For me, there's something about it that I just don't like. It's great coverage for such a lightweight foundation, but I personally, for my skin, even though I do have dry skin, I just don't like the way it sits on my face.